This video is sponsored by Bose, makers of the acclaimed Bose Aviation Headset 10, and by Weatherworks, delivering portable, highly accurate, localized weather information to pilots throughout the contiguous U.S. Teledyne Continental has been improving their line of full-authority digital engine control systems. The latest models now include a broad range of diagnostic and reporting capabilities. Continental's Philip Grice walks you through the IOF240B. Uh, some of the key features on the engine are dual redundant engine control units. Uh, each one of these runs two cylinders. We have dual fuel pressure transducers, uh, the, the distribution block. We have dual manifold pressure transducers as well as dual manifold temperature transducers. Uh, we have four each fuel injectors that are, are coil actuated uh, injectors uh, underneath the engine which we, we have an exhaust system that registers, that measures the exhaust gas temperature as well as the cylinder head temperature for all four cylinders. Uh, each cylinder is operated as its own individual unit. By that I mean that uh, if you have a, a conventional engine and you're doing a takeoff and you see an engine that uh, one cylinder that's going hot, you have to richen up the whole, the complete engine, and you also have to notice that that's going on. This particular engine will look at all those parameters for you. If it sees one cylinder going hot, it will richen up just that particular cylinder that is getting hot. You know, ATC is talking to you, and you lose lose track of time and what you should be doing. No worries, because the the computers are operating the engine. All you need to do is keep your RPM where you you know where you set it and the the, com the engine does the rest uh, one of the key features to the to the IOF 240 and other subsequent FADEC engines is our new diagnostic program you can connect to the uh, engine data interface within the airplane uh, which will record on a compact flash card the complete TBO cycle if you had a problem with the engine you could connect this diagnostic system to it that's on a laptop computer it looks at all the engine parameters, the operating parameters. It looks at all the sensors to make sure statically and dynamically they're operating the way they should. Uh, and it also prints you out a, a report to go in your logbook saying that, uh, say you were doing a 100-hour inspection. This diagnostic test takes four minutes running the engine, uh, along with all your other normal maintenance items like oil change, filter change, compression test, and a visual inspection. You could run the the diagnostic program and look at the other sensors and have a report for your uh, for your system that could be stapled in your logbook. What we'll do is we'll bring the laptop up here and we'll go to an example of a pass report. Uh, this this is the laptop program. This is the actual report that, that the diagnostic program will print out. It has your engine model, your engine serial number, the tail number of the aircraft, the total engine hours, uh, the ECU software, which is, is the, the uh, software that controls the engine, if you are an Aviator Services member, it's going to have your Aviator Services number, a contact number, uh, a date and a time. If you had any failures in here, these would be written up red and, and say fail. It gives you your system checks. It gives you your channel, channel check with your drops, what the limit is, which would be 150. Uh, and it would give you the actual drop that it did on the test and the status of the test, which is a pass. This graph here shows what your engine, what the parameters of the engine are while you're running. You do a static cold, which checks all the uh, sensors on the engine. And then it, it tells you step by step where to set the power and how long to leave it there until you need to, you know, move on to the next step. This is a graph of the RPM that, that was printed out during this report. The manifold pressures, that's four channels of the manifold pressure. Fuel pressure through the run, this is the fuel pressure curve for this engine. It's, this is your rich limit, your lean limit, and this is where you actually were during the engine run. Because this particular engine has, has a fixed pitch propeller, you, can't, you can only get about 2375 statically on the ground. It's a 2800 RPM engine, so this program actually calculates what the fuel pressure will be at 2,800 RPM. This is a graph of the exhaust gas temperatures during the whole run. Uh, it looks at the, the, the deviations between the, the EGTs 
and the injectors. If, if there's less than a 50 degree spread between the injectors, it says they're okay. Uh, and all your parameters, the numbers are, are printed out. If there's a deviation where the EGT was too high and you may have an injector problem, it would have put the number in there that it's, that it's out of tolerance. This is your cylinder head temperature during the run. This is your voltage of the system. During the test, you actually turn the primary power off, so you see you get a big drop there when you do that. You're actually going down on the, the backup battery, the emergency battery, and that's where you see that power drop down to when you turn the P power off. The list of parameters continued, but Grace made one last point. The system does far more than point out faults. It offers solutions, too. If you did have a fault and you had a failed report, at this point it would give you the reasons that you failed the report or failed the test, and it would give you also a troubleshooting tree for what, you know, what the corrective action would be, starting with the most common going to the least common. And that's progress.